Sure, we carry guns, but knives are worth that. It's not fun. Heard you put a pretty good piece down the well. You can head on in over, boss. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? What were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity, and we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Bored. Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey. You don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Happiness? Nope. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Right. And you want to explain to me why exactly I should be backing the operators? Because we dispense with the bullshit. My people aren't commanded by lunatic bloodlust or animal instincts. We are the only rational players around here, and would make valuable allies, so long as we know you intend to get this place back to bringing in caps. So we want to know what your plan is. I'm sorry. That sounds like a demand. I'm the overboss around here, and I'll do whatever the hell I want. Hmm. Of course, boss. Whatever you say. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Heads up. Yeah, what is it? <clears throat> Need something? Your thoughts? Play your cards right, and we stand to make a whole lot of money. How do you think things are between us? I don't know. I haven't killed you yet. Isn't that good enough? Your thoughts? Axes to grind. Hell, I have a ton of them. 
That was it. All right. Meg always saw the potential. Hey. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs, well, dying is more their strong suit. Can't blame them. It happens to me all the time. People just get upset. <laughs> Would kill for an actual lab. Though it hasn't helped yet. He's gonna challenge me to a drinking contest. Guess he may be so big. We're all the nice born into this life. They sure as hell were born for it. Thank you. 